In the decade that Taste forgot, the 1970s, Ottawa was saddled with a rather unfortunate nickname, the city that fun forgot. A half century later, that couldn't be further from the truth. Canada's graceful political capital is now also its adrenaline-hungry adventure sports capital, a status underlined by multiple attractions on both land and water. And chief among them all is the highest bungee jump in the country. The great Canadian bungee, towering over a picturesque quarry on the outskirts of the city, stands at a courage crumbling 200 feet tall. In fact, the first 160 foot rebound alone is higher than any other bungee jump in the country. This is the real deal. A serious test of fortitude where you get to stare fear in the face and hope you don't blink first. More daring, or foolhardy, jumpers can be attached via ankle harnesses rather than the full body rig and are then led out onto a frankly petrifying parapet over the water. It's here that about 10% of bungee jumpers bounce immediately back to their cars. But for the survivors, the instructions are simple. Dive away from the platform as if you're diving into a swimming pool and always aim to fall head first to maximize your aerodynamics and minimize your chance of injury. Here, pass this around. Squeeze check, lock check, squeeze check, lock check. All right, John, on the count. As the countdown from five begins, I gamely raise my hands above my head in my best Tom Daly impression. Right, John, on the yeah. countdown. Yeah. In five, four, three, two, one. And then... Mazinga! I'd managed to flop into the abyss with all the grace of a rag doll being tossed into a toy basket. The experience is like nothing I've ever felt before. Less flying like a bird, more being yanked at great speed towards a massive, merciless magnet. Afterwards, it's the jump itself you think about. Those seconds in the air and the elastic rebounds as you bounce around the echoing quarry. But the real experience, the ultimate moment, is that five second countdown with your toes teetering over the edge of oblivion when you find out what you're really made of. And pray the bungee cord is made of even sterner stuff. Oh, nice. <sighs> I'm glad that's over. <laughs> <laughs>